Hello, today I'm going to show you on how to build a servo motor using a car wiper motor which will produce high tech which can control heavy duty machines or actuators. So basically what we are going to need is the wiper motor itself. You'll maybe you'll need a power regulator. This is power regulator adjustable. This is IBT2 motor drive. This particular one is BTS7960. You'll need your receiver and uh, a radio. So let's begin. So for this we'll need a servo motor engine drive actually to pick up the signal and feed it to the motor drive and the motor drive will amplicate the, uh, will amplificate the signals to drive this big motor so what we are going to do is to take the engine out from the normal servo motor this is mg996r so when you take it out this is what you'll find and the purpose of the main reason why it's glued here i've glued the potential meter to pick up the position actually it's for the position feedback to the motor drive so actually with the sensor cables it will go direct to the receiver this the, the, these two wires are supposed to be in the motor so you'll have to extend the cables and bring and plug them in here so you see so we'll plug power to the first two pins down will be ground up will be voltage then we'll skip the two pins which is, which is in the second column we'll go to the third the, the third both pins will plug in the positive of the power feed 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 in feed in cable then for the motor we'll plug in the last pin so let's do this way we plug one cable to the top side and the cable below So this is power, this is 5 volts, before we plug it let us plug the same same power on the positive side will plug to the second row from right, okay. Good. On this project we'll skip these pins. And plug in power to these other pins. Good. Now this is voltage in from the regulator. Voltage in actually it's written here. B minus B plus meaning battery in and motor out. So this is how the connection is as simple as such. So this is the po potential meter feedback which will send the actual position signal to the motor drive now let's test it let's turn everything on good now this is our radio so the servo motor is connected to channel 3 you see Our channel three.
Thank you for watching.